That is close. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're enjoying my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. I definitely have a morning voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I have not had absolutely anything to eat or drink well I shouldn't say drink I did have water last night but my last meal was actually at four o'clock yesterday because I have a story for you. it's story time let's just say that um, if you guys watched my video where I had a flat tire um, I will actually link that video here but I did get a flat tire on the way to town because I do live 20 minutes outside of a major city and uh, luckily enough, I ended up getting it, it fixed and took it to, um, it was a tire shop actually, and I made it there. But now that one tire, I'm not saying that they didn't fix it. I think it was, it's just time for new tires, but that one tire now keeps on losing air. So every day after work, I have to fill it up with air and it's just become an inconvenience and Jimmy and I talked it over. I definitely need new tires and I was hoping to kind of wait until winter because I do live in Southern Alberta in Canada so we do get our fair share of snow during the winter. Um, so I was kind of holding out um, until fall time so that I could pay cash with it because we are trying to become debt free. We are retiring in two years and we don't want any more payments to owe anything, nothing. So um, that was the plan, what originally I was going to be doing, but I need it now. I definitely need the tire now, and if I'm gonna replace the one tire, then I just wanna get them all replaced. So luckily enough at my job, um, I work at Acanix, which is on every military base here in Canada. We are affiliated with um, Canadian military, and we do Canix plans that are interest free. So it's, it's a credit plan essentially and over the year you don't pay any interest and it comes off of my paycheck. So it is very, very handy for, um, we've gotten like our appliances through that and I think Jimmy got his tires for his truck through that. Um, but once again, I just didn't want any payments. Um, I wanted to just pay for it in cash, but it just didn't work out. I didn't have the funds to do that. So what I did is just did a Canix plan and set up the appointment and the appointment is today. So thankfully enough, they got me in this week. All the paperwork is done. I just have to take it all with me and they will give me four new tires and I won't have to be filling up my tire every day when I leave work. Um, so I'm happy about that. We have a trip coming this weekend because it is my stepdaughter's wedding this weekend. Um, so once you are watching this, this is gonna go up on Friday. We are actually leaving on Saturday and Sunday just for the two, two days and one night and the wedding is on Sunday. So I'll be sure to take you along with me. Um, I'm very, very excited. They've waited a long time, especially through COVID. Um, Natasha had said that she feels like she has planned like four weddings already because she's had to change her wedding plans. So excited for that. I'm excited to have new tires to go on that road trip with. Tires are very important. So um, I'm about to do that today and I have a whole bunch of errands to do. And the reason why I haven't ate or drank anything yet today is because I plan on going out for brunch today. So I'll be sure to take you along with me for that. So stay tuned and let's see what the day has to bring. Uh, 
All right, I have just pulled up to where I'm getting my tires done, which is Fountain Tires. So, um, actually, my daughter is home. Jenna is home for a couple days. So, she is going to, she's on her way in. I forgot the paperwork. So, she was behind me and she was kind of closer to the house than I was. So, she was nice enough to pick up my paperwork. Um, so, I'm going to go in and um, they probably do need the paperwork, I would imagine, um, from the credit plan that I ended up getting. So, um, she is going to bring that. And then we are going to hang out in the morning. Um, we are going to go out for brunch. We're going to do some errands that she needs to do because she She's just all home for a couple days. So I'm so excited to have her home. Zoe comes home in a couple days. So this mama is very, very happy. So um, I am wearing one of the new shirts that actually she had gotten me. She is loving, loving her job. She is so happy. I've never seen her so happy in a very long time. So I'm so proud of her. And you know, she's only 21 and to be working full time and living in Banff and in the mountains, it's like a dream. She's my worker girl. She loves to work. Um, whereas Zoe is my school girl. So she's excited to go back to school. Um, so that is an update. I am just going to drop off my car, get my tires done, and then me and Jenna will take on the town and I will take you with us for the day. All right, uh, I am in my daughter's car right now. She had picked me up from a fountain tire and we have done a few errands. We went to the mall because she needed to get some new Birkenstock, so we did that. And it is 12 o'clock and I still have not eaten yet or even drank anything. Uh, Jenna got an energy drink for the way in and I didn't get anything, but we are going to be going out for a later lunch. I thought it would be a little bit earlier, but she wasn't hungry. So um, she's just getting a new um, screen protector for her phone right now. And I think we are going to be going out for lunch after that, finally. It's been like, let me look on my phone. I've been using the Zero app on my phone to track my fast. Um, if you don't have it, I highly recommend. It's a free app on your iPhone and um, it tracks your fasting. You can set how many hours you want to fast. And so what I do after I'm done eating is I just press start fast and it'll tell me what time my fast will be done, whether it's a 16 hour, 18 hour or whatever hour fast I wanna do that day. But um, look at that. That is over 21 hours that I have fasted for. So I'm happy about that. I feel great. Um, I definitely am getting hungry, but I'm not to the point of like starving or anything like that. Um, so I'm really happy about that. So I probably, this, it's a keto day for me today. Um, so I think whatever I'll be getting or wherever we go, it might just be a one meal a day. I did get a couple snacks at the dollar store that I probably will have along with that, but I have, I have tons of errands to do today. Um, I have to go to the grocery store, pick up some dry cleaning and errands like that that I'll do after I get my car because of course, my 21 year old doesn't want to come and do that sort of stuff with me. <laughs> yeah. So um, I will definitely do that stuff afterwards I get my car. So I'm hoping that they will call me after lunch around one o'clock and I can go and get my car and finish doing those errands. So I plan on getting just a little bit of groceries. Um, I still want to do a grocery haul for you guys, but the whole thing is, is that we haven't been getting a lot of groceries at all since the girls have moved out. Zoe is moving back um, next week, but for Jimmy and I, like we just don't eat a lot. And with me doing um, the keto and the protein sparing modified fast days, I really don't go through a lot of groceries. And since he only eats one meal a day and that's his lunch, and then he has two bigger snacks, he doesn't eat supper. And that also saves on groceries. So um, I will bring you along with me to the grocery store when I get there. And there is some things that I do need to get as well from Nutters, which is kind of like, um, it's a natural store where I can buy like, like, um, I can buy like my Walden Farm stuff. I can find like Erythritol or Swerve or any of those products I can find at, at Nutters here in Western Canada. So I'm going to be going there. So I will take you along with me once I get there as well too. So, but the next stop will be lunchtime.
had poppies here in Medicine Hat and it was delicious. I had the omelet, which you had seen. Um, so it was a three egg omelet and it had some sausage and bacon and uh, cheese with a little bit of green peppers and a little bit of onions. And so that's all I had. I didn't have anything else. Um, it came with fruit, but I didn't have the fruit, but it was really, really good. So I enjoyed that. And the good thing is, is I, I feel full. So um, I'm gonna see, I might have supper or something when I get home. Not exactly sure what yet. I didn't really plan out my day because I thought maybe that would be like my one meal today and it still might be I'll see how I am when I get home within that eating window if I don't get home and have something to eat before like six then I probably won't have anything um, it definitely is a lot of calories because once again you're eating out and um, it's just a lot of calories with the oil and the, the amount of bacon and sausage that they put in that but it was so good so I got my car back I am back in my car Jenna had dropped me off and my car was already done which was great so she went home and now I am about to do my little errands that I need to do that she didn't want to come with me to do um, but it was so nice spending the day with her anyway so I am at nutters right now so I am going to record um, I'm gonna take my phone in and record some things that I am finding um, I'm not gonna take my camera in but I will take my phone and record some of the things that I'm buying and then I have to hit up the grocery store and pick up some dry cleaning because Jimmy's tux is actually what's at the dry cleaner and he needs that for his daughter's wedding this weekend so definitely a priority to pick up that so I will see you guys in the next clip let's see what we can find in nutters so I noticed that they have all of the simply delish here so remember these are Canadian prices um, but they have like a really really good variety I haven't seen anywhere else that they have like such a good variety of that. So that is definitely good to have here. Um, I know that this, I had bought, and this is where I bought my original last time, I believe too. So um, not bad prices, but they have a little bit of everything here. Also wanted to say that my friend, um, where I get my keto goodies from, he actually has a spot here now in Nutter, so I'm so proud of you, Doug, if you're watching. Um, he has the business named Keto Comfort Cuisine. So literally all of these are his now. So he has a whole section in the freezer and um, a lot of them are nuts. That's the only reason why I probably won't buy any today because he does mine custom made, but congratulations to Doug having all of your stuff in his store now. Also notice that they have the carbonate bread that I get there, but I have been loving the uh, Wonder Bread and all the recipes that I've been using that that is what I'm going to be making instead of buying the carbonate bread. All right, Nutters is all done. I got a few things which I will show you when I get home, um, but now I'm going to get dry cleaning and just going to the grocery store. So I will probably see you guys when I get back home. I will show you what I got at the grocery store and what I got from here at Nutters. Sorry if you can hear the air conditioning, but it is 31 degrees Celsius here. It is still continuing on our hot streak. I feel like we've been hot weather since the beginning of July because I remember when we went camping for July long weekend for Canada Day here in Canada. Um, it was starting of the hotness, like of the hot streak, and it hasn't stopped. And we haven't even gotten any rain. We haven't got any rain in in almost a month like in the next two weeks it's gonna be hot and doesn't call for rain which is so unusual um, normally when it's this hot we usually get like thunder showers between like you know the fifth day or something we have had nothing it's horrible there's so many fires going on right now in Canada it's unreal um, we have ones like I said in my last video um, that are in British Columbia and it is kind of lofting into southern Alberta um, so it's not too too bad today, but like we haven't seen the sky in like a couple of weeks because all of the smoke So I stopped at a different grocery store than I usually go to and I got some of their deviled eggs They have the best devil eggs there. It's just in the deli section So I am going to have these and I have one stop left which is Costco I'm working myself up to going into Costco. It's always busy even during the weekdays But I am going to eat this and then just one more stop at Costco then I will see you guys at home So I am home now, actually I've been home for a while, so um, it is almost 8 o'clock now and I got back around 5.30 after I was done all of my grocery shopping. 
but um, I will put on a picture on the screen on what I had for dinner. It was just me having dinner. So I decided to have just some pepperoni sticks, some cheese, and some of those new parm crisps that I found at Costco. I will have a grocery haul coming for you for groceries and a Costco haul all in the same video coming on Sunday. So make sure that you're watching and staying tuned for that. And I had bought those at Costco and they were really, really good. A lot of people have been raving about them and saying how good they are. So it's one of the crackers that I can try because a lot of them do have almond flour in them and they were so good. So that and eve's are are pretty tied i think it's just the consistency the consistency of eve's cracker is kind of like a cracker but these ones here are kind of like the wisps but they're more flavorful than the wisps um but they were really really good so that was an excellent supper and it fit in my macros really really well and i kind of gauged for the omelet um i still didn't have too too much to eat today but i feel like the meal that I had eaten out, you can never vouch for exactly how many calories and, and macros there are in that. But once again, uh, Jenna was home for a couple days and I didn't want to miss that. I've talked about that in a video before about missing those opportunities on going out to eat. So I wasn't about to say no to that, um, but still kept on my calories and all of my uh, total carbs for the day. So it was all clean, good foods today. So I was really happy about that. I kept my total carbs actually even low throughout the day too, which is always good for a keto day as well. So thank you so much for joining me and spending the day with me um, I hope you enjoyed these kind of vlogs let me know down below if you enjoy these vlogs where I just kind of take the camera with me and you come with me and do my errands it keeps me company and I hope you guys enjoy the video so thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content hit that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video thanks for watching